What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see behind me, I have way too many projects going on. So I got Derek over here, he's hiding. What's up guys? So we're gonna finish up this Predator project and we're gonna get this thing out of here and we'll have this one done. So, all right, oh, yeah. we'll see you in a second. What we're doing today on this is we're gonna go ahead and replace this brake line. Um, you guys heard me talk about it in the last video. It has a little bit of leaks down in the junction block down here. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just get rid of this line and we're gonna re-bleed the whole system again. Now that I got Derek here with me. And uh, yeah, so we'll do that. And we're gonna do a top speed today. So that'll be fun. Um, the carburetor is still a little bit rich. We're gonna take, uh, I think a half a turn out of it is what it's gonna be as rich as it is. So, all right, we'll be right back with you. All right, guys, well, let's see if it'll focus. This is the Polaris part number, okay? This is for the front main brake line for the front brakes. We have a quarter inch for the bleeder screws. We have a 14 millimeter for the top, uh, the main, it's actually the uh, brake light switch as well. Uh, and we have an 11 millimeter for the junction block. That'd be this one right here. So, anyhow, oh, let's get in a shot here. And a T15. Oh, right, and a T15 Torx for the top where we put the fluid in. All righty. I'm going to put us a little rag on here just to kind of help. Let's go up underneath here. Just to catch some of this fluid that's going to be coming out of here. We don't need to take this off yet unless it's just pouring out, which hopefully it's not so much. So I didn't order any crush washers and I'm just thinking about that right now. I probably should have, but I didn't. Oh well, it happens. So I'm just gonna disconnect that and I'm gonna put the new one right on there and go straight back on with it. Oh, these crush washers are have rubber in them too, so that's pretty cool. Did that go the other way? Went the other way, didn't it? Yeah. Wait, no. No. It's just bent a little different way from being rolled up. This is gonna go down like that, right? Yep. You got it? Mm -hmm. Alright, there's that part. Uh, fish it around and match the... Alright. Well now we're down here in the bottom. And we've got to get this little filler off. Man, is that thing tight or what? We need to get a test it right. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. It worked free. Holy. I didn't say it was loose. Here, grab that. We need to get that thing to break free too. So this is, this is also where we are going to um, go ahead and, and bleed at too, I think, because I don't think it's going to be necessary to bleed at the bottom unless we have an issue. Uh, I don't want to waste a whole lot of fluid. 
Though we have plenty of fluid, so maybe we should just do it. It wouldn't hurt to flush the system out one more Well, we didn't bleed it on camera anyway, so we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and flush the whole system. We're gonna hurt it then. Alright, now for the hard part. I'm getting this lined up to start. When I'm starting these things, I don't worry about orientation. I'll worry about that once I get a few turns in there. See, I got it started now. So I can just go as far as I can with my fingers. And then I can get it oriented the way that it needs to be. I think that looks pretty good. See the line here. Uh -huh. I would not get way crazy with tightening this thing down just yet. All right, you want to go ahead and pump me up some pressure there, Derek? Oh, we got to take the top off first. Yep. All right. Bleed it there first, or bleed it all the way down. I'm gonna bleed it here first. All right, go ahead and squeeze it. You want me to get pressure built up on yeah. it? Yeah. Air bubbles. All right, just hold it. Hold. We gotta get past that plateau, okay? Go ahead. You just hold it again. Hold. I'm getting some air coming out. It's gonna be a slow start. Alright, go ahead. That's a good day. You ain't getting no air out of that one. No, I got a nice air pocket up here. Yeah. Too. Might have to bleed it here. Yep. I think we're going to have to bleed it up top first. Because I'm still not getting no pressure. All right, just hold it. Hold it. All right, go ahead. pressure now? Mm, a little bit more than I had last time, but not much. All right. I think it's just like a trade-off. Yep. That was a good bit of air. Had to back way out for it, though. Some liquid leaving the reservoir. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's try it down here again. Hold. I actually got some fluid out down here. Like I think maybe bleeding it up top is doing a better job than down low. I think so too. Oh, there's some pressure there. 
Yeah, it's starting to squirt, see? Yeah. Finally. All right, so now. <laughs> all right, now you'll get some pressure down there. Because I can't even put this all the way back now. So there's some pressure on it. Let's see if I can pick up what's going on there. This is how you know when the master cylinder is bled. It's squirting liquid up. You gotta be careful because that will go all over the place and make sure it does not get in your eyes. You will be hating life. Yeah, all right, let's pressure. go back to the bottom. I got good pressure up here. All right. Oops, good. Are you holding good pressure? Pretty good. Uh, not great pressure, but good enough. Okay. I thought a little bit of air leave that one. All right, go ahead. Hold on. All right, go ahead. How's your pressure up there? Is Good. it solid? Like yeah, it's solid pressure now. All right. I think that we need to um, we'll put it back together and ride it, and then we'll revisit bleeding it again after it's settled a little bit. We'll bleed it down low and just flush the whole system out. So let's do one more. Right. Hold. And I'm gonna position this the right way. Oh wow. It, it looked great, but it sounded like it had some air. Yeah. All right. All right, it's tight. Yeah, I'm just gonna put some more fluid in here. Now we'll just cap that off and we'll put the plastics back on so we can get the ride. All right, so one here. And then there's these little brackets that slide into the ones on the tank. And then I have to tighten these it down because I didn't know how it came apart, so I have to put those back on. Yep. All right, we got the headlights all plugged in and all that fun jazz. Let's get this plastic all popped back together. And we go for a rip. We're gonna leave the side skirts off for right this second. Uh, in case we have a few more carburetor adjustments, but other than that, we're going. everybody well I'm recording this outro on a different day but that's okay we'll get it in there anyway um, I also recorded the uh, top speed which is not really a top speed of the machine it's just a top speed of the length of road that I typically uh, will get up to 
uh, right here. So anyhow, um, I'm sure that the machine's faster than what you guys just saw, but that's all right. It's, it, I'm sure it was fine. It feels pretty quick. So <laughs> anyhow, uh, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. All right. See ya.